Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial and as you all know we are going to be modeling a Toyota Land Cruiser 300. If you are here from a different software like Maya or Cinema 4D and you don't have Blender installed on your computer but you really want to follow along with the tutorial, let me show you how to quickly download and install Blender. So to download Blender, just open your preferred web browser and go to blender.org and this page will open. As at the time of this recording, the current version of Blender is 3.6 but if you are watching this much later, you might be seeing a newer version. So select download and if you are using Windows, just select download blender and your download will begin but if you are using a different operating system like mac or linux just select this drop down here and choose your operating system and your download will begin as well and after you are done downloading just open the setup file and follow these easy six steps as shown here to install blender to your computer and you should be good to go when you open Blender for the first time, you are going to see this window here, which is called a splash screen. And the first page of it is just a quick setup of Blender. And when I select next, we're going to see the next page and it's just showing us a quick navigation to any preferred workspace we want to work in, being it um, to the animation, sculpting, VFX or whatever. And you're also going to see the version of blender you are currently using so i'm just going to select any way in the viewport to hide that and the next thing you're going to see are these three objects here the first one being the default cube we have a camera and we also have a light here as well we wouldn't be needing these for our modeling so i'm gonna press a to select all of them press x and let's delete them okay so first things first before we move on to anything else i'm going to save the work and to do that i'm going to press ctrl s and save it as toyota land cruiser 300 okay all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to load in our blueprint and i want to start with the front view blueprint so let's press one on the numpad to go to our front view and with shift a come to image and select reference and i'm gonna load mine from the folder i saved it to and here it is and just before we load it in let's uncheck this align to view box here and load reference image and you can see from our front orthographic view our image is not visible to us because it's lying flat like this in our perspective view so to correct that let's go back to our front view and i'm going to spin this on the x-axis by 90 degrees so type in rx90 and we need to apply a few settings to this because you can see the image is way too bright for our eyes to work with so let's correct that by coming over to the object data properties which is this picture or image icon here so select that and the first thing i want to do let's check the opacity box and you can see the brightness has been reduced just a tiny bit but we still have to reduce it a lot more so in the bar here let's type in 25 and that has been reduced perfectly for us so let's press ctrl c with our mouse cursor hovering over this to copy this number because why i'm doing this is i don't want to be typing in 0.5 all the time for the other blueprint so you just have to press ctrl and b to press it in at once all right so the next thing to do is to uncheck the perspective view because i only want to be seeing this blueprint in our front orthographic view i don't want to be seeing it in our perspective view when i select the perspective you can see it's visible here so let's uncheck that to hide it okay and the last settings i want to apply to it will be 
in the side options here you can see there are three options which are both front and back and the reason for this is for both it means that this blueprint gets to be seen both in the front view and the back view so i press ctrl and one on the numpad to go to the back view so that's what both is for you get to see it in the front view and the back view which shouldn't be so because when i load in my back view reference image or blueprint and with the front view also visible in the back view it's going to overlap and cause some kind of confusion for us while we are working so to solve that i'm going to select only front so that we only get to see it in our front view and not in our back view as well okay so the next thing i'm going to do with the image selected i'm going to press g and let's grab the front part of the vehicle over here which is this part and looking at the wheels i'm going to press gz and let's bring it down just so the wheels are on top of the x-axis line like so just place the wheels on the x-axis line and next i'm going to align the z-axis line just so it passes through the middle of the vehicle perfectly and to do that accurately i'm going to use something that is already in the middle of the vehicle and for me i'm going to use the logo here the toyota logo so with the image selected i'm going to press g x and let's move that just so the z axis line is passing through the middle of it perfectly okay okay so next i'm going to load in the back view reference so let's press ctrl and one on the numpad to go to the back view and with shift a come to image reference and let's load it in and i'm also going to spin this on the x axis by 90 degrees so type in rx 90 and let's apply those same settings to this image so let's check the opacity box and in this bar here let's control and v to paste the number we copied earlier into it and let's uncheck the perspective box and in the side options here let me show you what i was talking about earlier so you can see it's on both which means that it's going to be visible both in our front view and our back view and it's not supposed to be so because we only have to work with each blueprint from each side i don't even understand what i'm talking about so let me go to the front view for you to see this is our back view reference when i go to our front view it's also visible our back view reference is this highlighted image here you can see it's also visible from our front view which is overlapping and it's confusing us a bit to work with so to solve that i'm gonna select back here so which means that it's only going to be visible from our back view so let's go to the back view with ctrl and one and you can see we can see it only in our back view same with the front view when i select the front view reference which is this because we selected front only we can't see it from our back view but only from our front view which is here all right so let's go back to our back view and select our back view reference and press g and let's grab it over here and let's press gz and let's bring it down just as we did with the front view let's put the wheels directly on the x axis line like this and let's also place the z axis line right in the middle of the vehicle so i'm going to use this object as my reference to align the z axis line to so let's press gx and i'm going to move this just by eyeballing it so that the z axis line passes through it perfectly and 
okay and that perfectly and automatically centers the whole car to the middle like so all right the next thing i'm going to do is to add in the side view blueprint so let's press 3 on the numpad to go to our side view and with shift a let's load the same reference in and this time i'm going to spin this on the y axis by 90 degrees so type in ry 90 and also on the x axis by 90 degrees so type in rx 90. all right so let's check opacity let's press that in on check perspective and let's leave this as it is all right i'm going to press gz and let's bring this down just so the wheels are on the y-axis line like so perfect all right and lastly the last blueprint i'm gonna add in will be the top view blueprint so let's press 7 on the numpad to go to our top view and with shift a let's load that in and let's spin this on the z-axis by 90 degrees so type in rz 90 and check opacity control v and check perspective and i also want to align the y-axis line which is the green line here perfectly in the middle of this top view vehicle here so to do that i'm going to use this as my reference point to aligning it and let's press gx and move it like so i'm zooming a bit just so you you are perfectly aligning it well okay i think that's okay all right and now with the blueprints loaded in to every side or every view the next thing i want to do i want to place the dimensions of the vehicle on each blueprint so that they are perfectly aligned with each other on every side so to do that i'm going to use a cube to help with that so let's go to our front view and with shift a let's come to mesh and select cube and you can come over to the viewport shading wireframe icon here to toggle into wireframe mode or you can simply press shift z to do that okay so let's press tab to go into edit mode and with everything selected you can press a to confirm that but everything is selected i'm going to scale this cube on the x-axis so that all the sides or both sides of it touches both sides of the vehicle so let's do that by pressing s and x to lock the scale to the x-axis and let's scale just so you can hold shift to slow the scaling down and i think it's touching both sides of it yeah all right all right, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the top vertices and let's press GZ and move them up just so that align with the top of the vehicle like so, so that they're on the roof of the vehicle. All right, and the next thing I'm gonna do is to select the bottom vertices and GZ, let's move them up, placing them just beneath the wheels or on the x-axis line like so okay let's go to our back view to see okay everything is perfectly aligned let's go to our side view and i'm gonna select this front vertices press gy and let's move it forward over here Let's select the back vertices, GY, and let's move them to this point, G. 
just so the touch is part of the vehicle like so let's go to our top view and you can see everything is perfect as it should be okay everything is perfect all right so with everything set up now let's go out of wireframe mode and now we don't need the cube or the rectangle because it's no longer a cube it's now a rectangle we don't need it anymore for now so let's press h to hide that so coming to the end of this part where we learn how to align and set up our blueprint let's take it from here to the next part where we are going to start with the modeling and see you then